Hi, it's Emma Nago. So I'm doing a makeup tutorial for glasses today. A little while back I was contacted by a company called Fermu. Um, I will write their name right here. So they asked if they could send me a pair of glasses and I mean of course because I love fashion glasses. You guys already know that. So these are the glasses that I decided on. So on Fermu they have so many different styles. They have so many different shapes and colors and everything. There is so much to choose from and the prices are very reasonable and they do ship internationally. And the cool thing about it is also that you can choose whether you want um, your glasses to be prescripted or not. And since I do not wear prescripted glasses, um, I of course chose the non-prescripted glasses. But yeah, you can get all the glasses as either prescripted or non-prescripted glasses, which I thought was very cool because, um, you know, a lot of the times... Um, there's only like a small selection of uh, like fashion glasses and then the rest is prescripted class glasses. So um, I thought it was great that they had so much variety and I'm loving these glasses. I think they suit my face shape very well. Um, I have a quite a long face so the round uh, lenses, I think it just really balances out my face. So yeah, anyways, I have nothing bad to say about Fermu. I thought, you know, the customer service was, was great, the shipping was great, the glasses themselves are awesome. So I'm really, really pleased with that site and I would totally recommend it to you guys. So I will leave the link down in the down bar and also they um, often have like good sales going on. So um, I would totally check it out if you're into glasses. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I did receive the classes for free, but um, I don't get paid to do this video. I just really freaking love these glasses. I think they are adorable. So let me just quickly show you guys what you get when you buy glasses from Fermu. And I really hope it's pronounced Fermu. I'm not quite sure, but that is how I pronounce it. So you get a case for your glasses and it's so freaking cute. Like look at this design. I just think it's adorable. Then you also get um, a little piece of cloth that you can use to clean your glasses. Looks like this. Very nice pink color. And then you get another little case. And then you also get this little thing which you can use to tighten the screws on your glasses. Which I haven't, you know, had to do that yet. Um, but I think that is so freaking brilliant. So I just had such a pleasant experience with Fermu. I'm just you know, totally blown away by everything. Um, honestly, I have nothing bad to say about that company. But um, yeah, anyways, of course, I did a makeup tutorial to go along with these glasses. So in this makeup tutorial, I will give you guys some tips and tricks on how to make sure that your glasses do not smudge your makeup. I know it's very common to have your mascara smudge onto the lens and of course to have your foundation rub off right here on the nose. So I will give you guys some tips for you know um, avoiding that but anyways let me come in close so you can see this look so it's a really simple daytime look and this is my favorite type of makeup to wear when I wear glasses a very you know understated neutral and natural look that's just my own personal preference because I feel like I already have so much going on with the frames so I don't want to interfere with that, you know, by doing like some bold or dramatic makeup look. So I just like to keep it very natural. This makeup look is super simple, so I really hope you guys like it. And I'm sorry if I'm sitting a little bit still and not moving around so much. It's because like every little movement I do can shake my camera and I'm not interested in that. So like if I do like this, like... <laughs> See what I mean? So I think that's all. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link to Fermu down in the down bar. And yeah, that's it. So let's go right ahead and get into this tutorial. Okay, so to start out this look, you definitely want to apply a primer all over. And of course, especially focusing on the areas where your glasses touch your face. So for me, that will be right here on my nose. I know for some people, um, that glasses also touch down on their cheeks. I'm going to use my Essence All About Matte Face Primer and I would definitely recommend using like a more matte primer because the more matte your skin is the less like the less likely your makeup is to like smear so 
I would say go for something matte. So next up, I would totally just skip foundation because the more makeup you have on, the bigger tendency it has to smudge. So just skip foundation and only go in with a concealer wherever you need, you know, some coverage. And of course I'm going to use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is, as the name suggests, a long wearing concealer. So I would totally recommend something like this, something that's very long lasting. So of course I start out on my cheeks where I have my acne scarring. Then I take my makeup sponge and spray it with water. Then I blend out my concealer. So now my face is more even. Um, it's not perfect, but that's not the point either. You don't want to cover everything up, you just want to like even out the face. So I did completely avoid my nose. So I have no concealer on my nose and that's simply because um, no matter what I do and what concealer and primer I use, if I apply something liquid on my nose, it smears when I wear my glasses. So that's why I just like to avoid it. But of course I'm going to cover up these under eye circles. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer for this. And the reason why I'm switching concealers is just because I want something that's a little bit lighter underneath the eyes. So now you can probably see that my nose is looking much more red than the rest of my face. But I'm going to even that out with powder. So I'm going to take my Born Pretty Store Pressed Powder in the color 02. So I'm going to start using this on my nose. And this just helps to make sure that the nose doesn't look, you know, too red compared to the rest of the skin. So I am going to go in and lightly set on my concealer. So of course I still want a bright on the eye. So I'm going to mix my white powder and my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Oh yeah, and what I just want to mention is that, of course, when you do your makeup, you can't wear your glasses. So if you can't really see without your glasses, definitely get like a magnifying mirror to look into. Um, I know that's what my dad does when he puts on his moisturizer in the morning to be able to see. So yeah, definitely try that. So now that that's done, I'm going to contour a little bit. I'm going to use my NARS Laguna Bronzer. So I'm going to start out contouring without my glasses on because I'm going to start contouring my nose. And then I will put on my glasses and contour the rest of my face. So I'm just going in and contouring a tiny bit. And I always like to keep my nose contour very natural when I'm wearing glasses because if you like to, you know, um, kind of reshape your nose with uh, your contour powder, it can look very strange when you have on your glasses. Like if your glasses sit all the way out here, it's very strange if your nose bridge start up here. It just, it can look a bit funky. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I'm going to put on my glasses now and contour the rest of my face. And the reason why I'm contouring with my glasses on is just so I have a guide. Um, so I don't go too far down or too far up or, you know, something like that. So then I'm going to go ahead and pop on some blush. I'm going to use NARS blush in Deep Throat. And again, I keep my glasses on so I know where to place my blush so I don't go too far in. So with that on, I'm going to take off my glasses again. And you guys can hopefully see that um, I have no, you know, little marks on my nose. But anyways, we're going to do eyes now. So for eyebrows, when I'm wearing glasses, I like to keep my eyebrows more natural. Um, just because you already have a frame around your eyes in form of your glasses. So I just think it becomes too, like, strong and bulky if you also define your eyebrows really like sharp and concealer brows and all that. So I'm going to use my little brow gel from um, Born Pretty Store. My color is 03. And I'm just going to use this to define my eyebrows. Some days I don't even apply brow gel. Um, some days I just keep my 
eyebrows natural when I wear my glasses. Um, of course you could go for a bolder eyebrow if you like, that's totally up to you. This is just what I prefer. So that's my eyebrows done. So now I'm going to do eyeshadows. And since this is an everyday look, I'm just going to use some concealer as my eyeshadow base. So for eyeshadows, I'm going to pull out a oldie but a goldie, which is my Essence All About Nude eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to use a bit of this light shimmery pink color. And I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid. Then I'm taking this light beige shimmery color and I'm going to highlight with this. So I just want the eyes to be pretty neutral and pretty light and wearable. Then I'm going to mix the two brownie colors. And I'm going to apply those in my crease with my MAC 224 brush. And these colors are super pigmented so definitely don't go too overboard. Then I go back in with the highlight color and I just apply a bit of this on the brow bone and I blend again. And I do the same to the other eye. So for underneath my eyes I'm going to mix the two browny grey colors again and I just apply this with a small eyeshadow brush. So that's it for the eyeshadows. So for eyeliner I would go with something soft. Again just because you do not want to compete with the frames. Um, so I would skip liquid black eyeliner and I would either do a powder eyeliner or a pencil eyeliner which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this brown pencil from Black Radiance. So I only do about the outer half and then I blend it out. So whether your glasses make your eyes look bigger or smaller, you can choose to do a white or a black uh, pencil liner in the waterline. So that's personally totally up to you. Um, I'm just going to skip it because I don't feel like it. So instead I'm going to go right ahead and do my mascara. And I'm not going to do falsies because the falsies can go and hit on your lens. And it's just going to be an annoyance. So um, I'm just going to do mascara. But first I'm going to curl. And I feel like this is very important. Because if you have very straight lashes, your lashes will tend to hit the glass. So if you curl them upwards, um, they won't hit um, your lens as much. And the mascara I'm going to use is Gush Show Me Volume. And if you have problems with the mascara smudging onto your lens, then you could definitely do waterproof. But um, I don't have that problem. So I just applied two coats to my top lashes. You could definitely also apply some mascara to the bottom. But um, my lower lashes are almost as long as my top lashes. So um, if I'm not wearing falsies on the top, um, I just feel like the bottom lashes just drag me down and makes my eyes look kind of droopy. So that's why I skip it. But... If you want to, definitely feel free to do it. But these are actually the eyes done. I'm going to put on my glasses again. So now we're going to do the last part, which is lips. So I really like to keep things natural when I wear glasses. So I'm going to keep my lips natural as well. I'm going to use my Tawny Lip Liner from Jordana. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with Angel from MAC. And can you guys believe it? We are actually done now. So this is what it looks like without the glasses. And this is what it looks like with. So thank you guys so much for watching, please thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video so take care and bye bye.